Now, host nation France started their campaign at the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup with a brilliant victory over South Korea in front of an overjoyed sold-out crowd in Paris today. Spencer Darlington reports. Primetime Sports FIFA Women's World Cup report. After a glitzy opening ceremony, expectations were high, but the world number four ranked French team showed no strain as they handled the pressure of the opening match against the 14th ranked South Koreans. Corinne Diak's side, among the favourites to win the eighth edition of this competition, produced a breathless performance to take a deserved 3 0 lead at half time. Forward Eugene Lesomer netted an early opener after a nice square from Amandine Henri. Talismanic centre back Wendy Renard added two headers from corners before the interval. Midfielder Henri curled in an excellent fourth goal late on, much to the delight of the more than 45,000 fans inside the Parc de Prince. Six groups of four teams will compete for the 16 places in the knockout phase, with the top two teams in each group qualifying automatically, as well as the four best third-placed teams. France is aiming to become only the second host nation to lift the trophy and could well take home the biggest prize if they continue to play as they did against South Korea. Spencer Darlington, TPJ Sports. And 20-year-old Maria Gray joined the national senior women's football team on Friday ahead of their debut appearance at the FIFA Women's World Cup in France. Now, Karen Madden is covering the tournament and filed this report. Anticipation is high in the Reggae Girls camp as the hours drain away ahead of their historic World Cup appearance. We caught up with the squad at their training base following a meeting with the FIFA team. Maria Gray, who was released by her college despite writing final exams, flew into France late Friday evening. Head coach Hugh Menzies told TVJ Sports Gray was the ideal replacement for McCoy. She'll be here tonight. Obviously, we did a one-on-one -on -one swap um, with Kayla and her. Um, so we feel comfortable with her. I thought she had a good game against Panama. Um, she wasn't scared to take people on. And for her age, she's a young kid, and she just has the attitude that we want. And with Jamaica having the youngest team at the World Cup, Coach Menzies insisted that this would not be a disadvantage. Menzies says the team has settled down well in Grenoble. We have acclimated. Uh, we, we've um, started our, our, pro our process against Brazil. Uh, we just finished looking over all the tendencies and all that. We did some walkthrough today, kind of putting everything together. Tomorrow we'll do the finishing touches on set pieces and some transition play. But, you know, everything's been good. Jamaica will open their account at the World Cup against Brazil on Sunday. Reporting from Grenoble in France for the FIFA Women's World Cup, Karen Madden for TVJ Sports. Primetime Sports FIFA Women's World Cup report.